in this video, I'm going to talk about accounting for freight. Another name for freight is transportation. And here we have three parties. Number one, we have the seller. Number two, buyer. And then we have the freight company. Uh, it will be the one to transfer the goods from the seller's place to the buyer's place. And here we have two points, this one and this one. For the first, it is called the shipping point because it is the point where the um, goods get shipped. And then we have the destination point, which is the destination point of the goods. Now, what does it mean when the problem says FOB shipping point? FOB here means free on board. FOB shipping point means um, that the transportation is free or paid by the seller from his place or her place to the shipping point. So from this point, so the small distance from the seller's place to the shipping point, that is free or paid by the seller. And then from that point onwards, it shall be shouldered by the buyer. Why is that? Because it is at this point, the shipping point, where the transfer of ownership happened. Okay? And seeing that it is the buyer who pays most of the transportation, um, what is the implication? Okay? So this implies that uh, under FOB shipping point, it is the buyer who should pay... the transportation cost or the freight charges okay, journal entry wise the buyer debits freight in which is the account title used by the buyer whenever the buyer pays the transportation how about FOB destination point okay so if that's the term, it means that um, the transportation is free or paid by the seller from the seller's place to the destination point. And the small distance from the destination point to the buyer's place shall be shouldered now by the buyer. Why? Because it is at this point where the transfer of ownership happened. Okay? And seeing that it is the seller who pays most of the transportation, what's the implication? The implication is the seller should be the one to pay the transportation cost or the freight charges. Journal entry wise, the seller debits freight out, which is the account title use whenever the seller pays the transportation now let's talk about the add-ons because the terms here we can extend it eh. we have what we call um, fob shipping point freight collect then we have fob shipping point freight prepaid and the same goes with the destination point freight collect freight prepaid now what's the difference these terms will just tell you who actually paid the transportation cost or the freight charges journal entry wise um, it is telling you who credited cash okay if it is freight collect it is the buyer who paid the transportation if it is freight prepaid it is the seller who paid the transportation okay to illustrate let's jump to the different shipping terms first we have fob shipping point freight collect so, FOB shipping point will tell you that it is the buyer who should shoulder the obligation. So, buyer debits, freight in. Okay? And then, freight collect will tell you that 
the buyer credits cash or pays cash. So under um, the buyer's books again, credit, cash. And that's it. So under the seller's books, no entry. No journal entry. Next we have FOB shipping point, freight prepaid. So for FOB shipping point under buyer's books, debit, freight in. And then here we have freight prepaid. So the seller pays the transportation. So the seller credits cash. Now, how do we complete this? Since it was established that the buyer should be the one to pay uh, the transportation, FOB shipping point, the buyer should owe the seller for paying for him or her. And to, pr to present that obligation, the buyer credits, accounts, payable. Okay? And in turn, the seller increases his or her accounts receivable from the buyer. And that's it. Next, FOB destination point freight collect. So from FOB destination point, it says that it should be the seller to shoulder the obligation. So seller debits freight out. And freight collect will tell you that the buyer pays the freight. So under the buyer's book, credit, cash. Now, how do we complete this? Since it was established that the seller should be the one to pay the transportation from the term FOB destination point, the seller will now owe the buyer for paying for him or her. But given the relationship as buyer and seller, instead of the seller realizing an obligation or a liability to the buyer, the seller will just go ahead and decrease his receivable from that buyer. Okay? So instead of crediting accounts payable here, the seller will just credit accounts receivable. And the buyer in turn shall decrease his obligation from the seller. Okay? So instead of debiting AR here, the buyer will debit accounts payable, representing the decrease of his or her obligation to the seller. And finally, um, we have FOB destination point, freight prepaid. So here, FOB destination point, the seller debits freight out. And freight prepaid will tell you that the seller actually paid the freight charges. So seller credits cash. In this case, um, we don't have an entry under the buyer's books. So no journal entry. And this completes a discussion on the shipping terms, okay? Thank you.